I know Tanya is upset because of my sitting down with Nico because she wants to talk. And I'm happy to share my side of the story as well as Nico's side. How you been feeling? Um, you know, just tired. I was talking to Nico and he mentioned that he was glad that he spoke to you. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that y'all even talked. He reached out to me. He reached out to you? Yeah. And he felt like he could talk to you? Wait a minute. The last time y'all were together, y'all were screaming and yelling. No, I wasn't not screaming and yelling. OK, he was screaming and yelling. He was yelling. screaming and He wouldn't Boy, let me talk. But he wasn't going to scream and yell with me. What? You didn't feel like you should have like hit me up and been like, bitch, this man done reached out to me, talk about he want to talk to me. I feel like I'm grown, and I, I didn't have to let you know what I was going to do. I'm hearing a lot of excuses for my girl, Juicy. I just want her to admit that she was just there for the gossip. So tell me, what, what did he say? Like, what? He didn't say that you was a bad person. He didn't say that you was a bad mama. He didn't say anything negative about you. But girl, he told me that he had came out the closet, that he was bisexual. Did you know about it? Yeah. And you knew about it before Jaden. Yeah. OK, so before Jaden, I've been with females. I like females, too. So that doesn't bother me, per se. And so you like, you like women? I do like women. I you do. still do? Yeah. What does all that have to do with anything? Like, what was his? I'm just telling you what he told me. Unless I'm you. What you need to know for? I assume that Nico talked to Juicy about our relationship. But why is he sharing all this? What's this got to do with our kids? How does all of this talk help anybody? But anyway, this is what he told me. He moved down here, you know, so he can be closer to the kids. And you kicked him out. He was saying that he didn't want to be in a relationship with you, and it just got overwhelming. So blame it on me. It's my yeah. fault now. And then when you told him Vaughn was coming, he thought now that you and him done got into it, you're going to use your other baby daddy now. No, because I'm just saying. We're not looking to be in a relationship. But that's what you said about Nico. No, I didn't. Well, sort of. But it's different. How is it different? Because you enjoy being with Nico more than you enjoy being with Vaughn? Bingo! I knew it. All along, she been in love with Nico. That's the reason why she didn't tell us the truth. The whole truth. I didn't feel like no one in this world loved me as much as Nico did. I felt that way until, until all of this happened. So, I did not expect to start crying. Jalen, thank you. This man that got all my business out in the street. seen Nico since the gender reveal party. And I'm meeting him at the recording studio tonight because he called me and said that he needed to talk. I'm feeling really conflicted. I need to make a decision on how me and Nico are going to move forward. You pretend like you get me. You don't got me. Stop lying to everybody. Ooh, you pretend like you know me. You don't know me. Hey. Hello. Hey. <sighs> Sounds good, man. Definitely, definitely, bro. So I'll excuse you guys for a minute. Thank you. Guys. Yeah. Hey. Can you come sit closer? Sure. <sighs> How you been? Fine. You wanted to talk? Yeah. I just kind of wanted to talk about how we're going to move forward from everything. I just feel like the last couple of times we've seen each other, it's been very emotional. And I feel like if we could try to talk it out, that maybe we can come to some kind of agreement. Okay. I don't know, I just want to make sure that moving forward that 
we can realistically really co-parent. We can. I'm on board as far as the kid's concerned. That's really all that matters. Emotions aside from that don't matter anymore. I've done a lot of soul searching about this relationship and I've realized that there is no Nico and Tanya anymore. Moving forward, it's strictly about the kids. All I need from him is for him to be a good father. It's about the kids, it's not about me. If you wanna be there for the kids, I have to deal with that and that's fine. But I don't wanna see you, honestly. Moving forward, as far as us keeping everything about the kids, I feel like you talking to any of my friends, there's no reason for you to be talking about me, especially to my friends. I would like it if you don't talk about me at all to them either. Since I won't Even be about the about kids? Only about the kids, nothing in, reg in regards right. to me. Right, as regards to the kids. Okay, yeah. just making sure. Yeah, yeah, no, no, like I said, there's nothing to talk about regarding you anymore. There's nothing more to say. Here's what I need from the father of my child. Scheduled visits, diapers, and baby food. Cocktails with my girlfriends, not so much. As far as Vaughn moving in, I know I spoke to you about that before. You know, we feel like it's the best thing so that Jaden doesn't have to be away from you. I don't gotta be away from them at all. So it works out really good. I'm just glad that we're all on the same page. I'm on the same page because I'm forced to be on the same page. It's just a little bit different from the program that I was originally walking into. Well, things changed. You I get that. I'm not in. saying, I'm telling you, I'm not saying that things didn't change. I understand that things changed. They had to change. You chose for them to change. They're going to continue to change until Jaden is 29 or until today is just Jaden. All I want from Nico is for him to look me in the eye and be honest. Why does it bother you that Vaughn's moving in? Honestly. It's kind of obvious. I mean, I still care. I mean, I do. So you have a problem with me being with him? Yes, I do. Why? We signed up to do the parenting thing. Of course, things got messy, emotions got in the mix. We messed up. Now you and Vaughn are doing the just parenting thing. The fact that you're able to do that with him and not me does hurt my feelings, period. It does. I'm sorry that it hurts your feelings, but when you, when you say, we are not friends. We have nothing to talk about. You can't be yourself around me. You don't want a relationship with me. You're not ready for another baby. Okay, that's not what you want. I'm not what you want. So I'm gonna move on with my life. Not saying I'm moving on with anybody, but I'm moving on Tony, with my life. Tony, be fair, be fair. You also said you didn't want a relationship. You also said you didn't want a baby. You also said that you weren't ready. I also don't was try trying to, to make that. you comfortable. Yeah. I obviously lied. I love Nico, but he's hurt me too many times. It's clear that Nico's never gonna be the man I need him to be. At this point, I just need to stop waiting for him to step up and cut him loose. I'm like, um, kind of broken, so. I don't want to talk about that. As far as the kids, you can contact me moving forward. I don't want you in the room when I give birth because I'd like to be in peace and just be crying from pain and not heartache. But I want to push with my mom. Got it. If I want you or need you, I will call you. When I go into labor, you will know. I guess I'll just reach out to you next time I can come see Jaden and we'll just go from there. So are we good? Yeah, we're good.